Welcome back to Persona 3 FES, the FES, the answer. I'm actually in the Velvet Room right now. The main reason I'm starting from here is because I don't want to have to constantly reset the fusion just to get this again. So, this fusion, Empusa, Fortuna, and Takemikazuchi, the three of them combined, I can get a Yatagarasu that has three out of the four elements. And personally, I don't think that's that bad. Weakness to Dark is not great. And to be honest, those stats aren't that special for a level 30, but having access to multiple elements on a single persona is always good, and it also means that if I go for fusions going forward, I can potentially pass these skills down further. I know that Pale Rider is available in the answer, and uh, Pale Rider is also good for being potentially quad elemental, but I think tri elemental Yatagarasu is actually not a bad idea, so I'm going to go for this fusion. Now, I should have still have the Personas to get King Frost after this, because I really do want King Frost. King Frost is excellent for the upcoming boss fight. Or Mitsunu is also a decent level 30 Persona, but fusing him will fuse away Take Mikazuchi, and uh, I wanted you for Yatagarasu. Once again, K Faraday has appeared. But wielding Triple L, actually that makes sense because uh, it's a three-legged raven. But yeah, Triple Elements are definitely going to help me out. Now, let me see if once again I need to make sure that I can get King Frost. Well, I can make King Frost, but it will require Titan, who I'm actually fine with losing at this point. Lamia, who I'm not so fine with losing. And Sati, who I... Well, I mean, admittedly, Orpheus does have um, standard Arky skills, but... Hmm. Let's see what kind of skills I can get on you. Because that is losing a lot of Personas, and that's pretty bad without the Compendium. Medea, Mudo, and Rakaunda is probably the best that I can hope for at this point. You know what? This might be bad, but I think I'm going to go ahead and go for this. I'm getting rid of a lot of my Personas for this. But I do think I can easily pick up a lot in Shuffle Time anyway, so I'm probably going to have to refresh my Persona stock soon anyway. So, let's go and get ourselves King Heho. Yeah, you definitely required an item in the journey, but in the answer, you're available just as standard. So I now have a very limited selection of Personas, however this should be pretty much fine, because Yatagarasu covers everything but fire, Orpheus covers fire, Genbu is good for the auto skills, and King Frost is going to be good for the boss and has healing. So, I think I'm actually alright with this setup. Now while I'm doing random stuff, I forgot to show this last time, but if you talk to Officer Kurosawa, he actually has something interesting to say. So, this is a hint at the fact that Ikutsuki had actually told this guy in advance about Igus joining. He didn't really specify exactly who she was, obviously. He just said that they'd been needing firearms. So, yeah, but he still has them in stock now, which is good because Igus needs to buy those at this point. The weird thing is, though, you'd think Officer Kurosawa would think it's strange that someone other than the blue-haired boy who leads the group is coming in to purchase items, because usually he is the only one who does it, so... Kind of weird that he's not seeing anything suspicious about this. <laughs> I love how that happens and then you guys get the option. Add to your party or no? <laughs> Oh, uh, wow, this line. Okay, then. Um, yeah, um... <laughs> it's almost as if this line was, like, um, addressed to people who don't like the answer. So, I'm gonna say not everyone thinks so, because that's literally true of not just this game, because of Yukari, uh, like in terms of in story, but also the fan base. I feel bad for making Metas depressed, but it is kind of true. Yeah. Well, you'll get better. Yeah, she's still gone. 
So I'm gonna add Junpei to the party. Not so sure about Koromaru, he's not that amazing in this area. And yeah, he's just explaining his general deal. So obviously, his persona uses fire, and Koromaru is good with darkness skills, but the best thing about him is that he is resistant, well, in this case, immune to Mudor skills, so that helps in certain fights. Forcing enemies to waste their turns if their AI is stupid. So, I want to go ahead and check status. So, as you can see here, Junpei starts at level 31. He comes with this equipment, so obviously don't buy any of this because he already has it. And he's actually got a pretty good assortment of skills right off the bat. Double Fangs, Kill Rush, Agilau, Rakukaja, and in a few levels he's going to learn Ma Rakukaja. And Counter is pretty decent too, also Spring of Life is always great. So, Junpei is going to join our party now. Well, I just want an excuse to use Junpei again, because he is pretty much my favourite character in this game. Now, Ken is still very behind. Uh, by the way, I did give Ken the spear that I bought for him. But I think I'm going to bring him just because I need his level to be caught up. This could end very badly, and I haven't used Akihiko in a little bit, so I think I'm going to bring him. So with that, it's time to head in, but first I'm going to go ahead and save, but maybe in a separate slot, just in case this setup of Personas doesn't work out for me. Thankfully, you've got a lot of save slots in the answer. So, off camera, I grinded Ken up to level 30, which is the same as pretty much the rest of the party, as you can see here. I also got a few Personas in shuffle time off camera, so I got Narcissus, Power, and Sarasvati. Now, Sarasvati in particular, I'm starting to rethink my stance on the next boss. She might be better for the boss fight than King Frost is, because she is immune to ice, but not weak to fire. Something that I forgot was that the boss's lackeys use fire, and even though King Frost does have dodge fire, being not weak to fire in the first place might be better. So, got this team, and let's go! So here's our next glowing door, Kokaitis, named after a river of ice that flows through hell, and supposedly the place where Satan slash Lucifer, depending on your interpretation, is imprisoned. The flapping of his wings only makes the frigid conditions even worse and furthering his entrapment, which is actually referenced in this game by Lucifer being weak to the ice elements. Anyway, let's enter Kokaitis. The second door. Oh, it's also the name of an incredibly good skill in Digital Devil Saga that's kind of hilariously overpowered if you get it early, but, uh, yeah, that, that's pretty fun. I've played a little bit of that. So, it's Purple Land! Even what's normally blood in Tartarus is now just purple stains on the floor. Faint reactions, strong enemies below. Here's the thing, there are a lot of new enemies in this area, so I'm going to be pretty busy early on. And, yeah, the Black Shadow is still here. And I feel like this line is kind of a metaphor. You'll see. The boss, by the way, is on floor 8, just like with Malbolg. And this area has a total of 15 floors, just like Malbolg. And, yeah, even the faces are a bit different. They're kind of like a mirror, and the face changes its orientation depending on where you're looking at it. I, I do kind of like the look of this place. You might also notice that just like Tartarus, the music is pretty similar in all of the different areas, but the music gets a little bit more intense, like the backing percussion is a bit stronger. And that'll continue as we make our way through the Abyss of Time. Oh, hi there, Gold Shadow. Bye there, Gold Shadow. It's kind of a shame. You, please turn around so I can get a preemptive on you, because I don't want you to be preemptive striking me. Okay, well, I didn't get a preemptive, but at least you didn't get one. So what do we got here? Watch out. Here are four enemies. Obsessed Cupid. Seem to remember these things being in Persona Q and being kind of annoying. But anyway, they are... Okay, they are weak to ice, which is actually really good because I have King Frost right now. Though I probably should be leading with Genbu here. Oh, should I wait and just see if... Yeah, I'm going to wait and try and get a scan through. Because otherwise my AI party members are going to be derps every time they fight these things. There we go. 
these aren't really all that special, although Holy Arrow plus Charm Boost is pretty annoying. And hopefully they won't get much of a chance to use Medea. And also, hopefully, I guess doesn't get Marin Karen. I'll help you, don't worry, but um, we'll just have to wait until I guess his turn comes up again. Yeah, gotta watch out for Junpei's win weakness. Okay, one of them's gone. And thankfully you didn't aim for Junpei. And you didn't aim for Junpei. Good. So now I will freeze you. It's kind of funny that enemies weak to ice are hanging out in the um, area named after a river of ice, but oh well. And I missed one of them. That is actually an issue that I had, I think, with King Frost in the journey as well, is that his agility is terrible, and I'm pretty sure agility controls accuracy in this game. So, yeah. That's a bit of a problem. Oh no. Oh no, and Ken just learned healing, so... It's actually a bad thing that Ken has suddenly learned healing. For that, you will be overkilled. And Junpei time. Junpei, like everyone else in the answer, has a new victory animation. I don't know if we'll be seeing it here. Nope. So, what we got in uh, another Sarasvati, who I don't need, but the wand cards have been upgraded to four. I still love the wheels that you can see. Um, oh yeah, by the way, I guess leveled up a little bit while I was grinding Ken. Just like the journey, she's probably going to end up massively overleveled compared to the rest of the party, because that's just what happens with protagonists in this game. Oh, hey, King Frost leveled up too, that's nice. Ice Break is also decent. Might actually help for the upcoming boss, depending on how things go. So, we got a few more enemies here. Actually got the preemptive this time. Muttering Tiara and Tranquil Idol. I guess I'll scan the Idol, though I seem to remember the Idol being a very annoying type of enemy. Let me just check my notes. Uh, the Tranquil Idol is... Uh, okay, you use Mudo and have Mudo boost, so Ken is in danger here. Anybody here resistant to Dark? No, I have a few things that are weak to it, but nothing resistant. That's not good. Muttering- oh, Muttering Tiaras are also weak to ice. I guess I can go for a Mabufu here, provided the, um, the idol is, uh, okay, doesn't seem to be repelling slash draining ice. And that should be dead Tiara. Definitely dead Tiara. Uh-oh, I think the idol is... Oh, it is weak to Zeo, okay. Drain Fire, weak to Zeo, Null Wind, also weak to Light, but I'd probably prefer to use Zeo. That Mudor and Mudor boost, though, is pretty terrifying. Also, Maragion plus Fire boost as well. Thankfully, you went down before you could try and attack Ken with Mudor. And that means I should probably wait, otherwise... No, Akiko is going next, so I'm fine with just attacking you. Or Akiko will just punch you. Did you see that, Shinji? I didn't actually notice Akihiko's changed battle animation, pro victory animation, I mean. Probably because... Oh, that's pretty <laughs> My cool. Skills have improved. Probably because it's it's kind of subtle compared to the other changes. Like, Ken is totally different. You'll be seeing soon. Junpei is totally different. And here we have... More new enemies. There are two enemies. Curse Dice. The Dice of Will Wheaton! Give me a sec. I'll scan the so, these things are... Okay, they resist everything physical and they're weak to wind. Do I have anything... Actually, I have Yatagarasu for wind. Insert Yatagarasu theme here. Karala... I actually kind of want to save my SP at the moment. Don't seem to have a lot of HP, though. Argue Lao, let's see how much this does. Actually, pretty good. Oh, good, that wasn't the one that I scanned. So, yeah, strong against all of those, and yet still, I guess, did about her average damage, although maybe that's just her new average damage for a better weapon and being at a higher level. Anyway, they're weak to win, null dark, and they have Moodle. 
Makarakan. And there it is. Well, thankfully, that's not locking out one of your, um, one of your weaknesses. Yeah, I remember there are some enemies in this game that are annoying by being weak to... Actually, that is locking out one of your weaknesses. Sorry, I got the Khans confused. I thought that was Tetra Khan. Makara Khan is, in fact, locking out one of your weaknesses, thus forcing us to use resisted physical attacks. That also means we can just go ahead and rush, though. Yeah, Tetra Khan is the physical barrier. I haven't played this game in a while. I was about to actually talk about the Rage plus Tetracon strategy and saying at least this thing isn't using that, but it actually does have Rage, so I'm kind of surprised that it doesn't also have Tetracon. Yeah, they got, uh, in particular, Persona 4 and 5 really like that. They would uh, have enemies that would cast reflect a physical reflex on themselves and then uh, use uh, Rage on your party members so that you have no choice but to hit them with physical attacks. Ugh, yeah, Shadow Kanji was particularly annoying like that. Like, personally, I feel that they did fix it a little bit in Golden, but I feel like, personally, some of the early Persona 4 bosses, I think, weren't exactly that well balanced for that early in the game. Anyway, though. New enemies! There are three enemies. Be careful. The Venus Eagle, our first boss from Tartarus, degraded again, because I remember these things were degraded enemies back in, um in the journey as well, but let me quickly check what you use, just so I don't use something that you... Okay, so you can heal, you repel wind, you're weak to ice, like so many things here, so... Let's go for King Frost, even though King Frost will probably miss one of them, because his agility is terrible. I do know that multi-targeting attacks have worse accuracy than, um... Wow, that was really bad. Than single-targeting attacks, but... I still like to do it every now and then, and again, like, I actually prefer the way one mods work with multi-targeting attacks in this game as compared to later Persona games. The fact that they, um, yes, as you can see, weak to ice uses wind skills, has dodge pierce for no reason because it isn't weak to pierce. But yeah, I, I kind of like the fact that here you have to knock down all the enemies to get a one more. is actually helpful here, because otherwise that would have been a one more for you. I think in 5 it feels a little bit more balanced than it was in 4. I don't know, in 4 I felt that uh, multi-targeting attacks were kind of overpowered in that game, but 5 seemed to be a little bit better balanced in that regard, like balanced around the fact that getting one mores off of multi-targeting attacks is a thing. I need to heal now. Well, at least Junpei was uh, on call to be awesome, as he always is. I should probably pay more attention. I should also probably... Yes, that's the thing. King Frost's low agility is kind of bad. I will definitely request healing after this battle. Thankfully, we're keeping Ken in the fight here. And, okay, that one is going second. You know what? I'm just going to specifically target this one. It's a bit of a waste of SP, but I'll just go for Mabufu now. Yeah, because I probably will leave this area and come back eventually. Because we're starting to approach the point where Ikus' persona is getting good enough that she's going to be going through her SP very quickly. That became a problem with uh, Persona 3, like the journey later on with the protagonist. Do I dare? I feel like I'm pretty close to the stairs regardless. Yep, it's cursed, but I'm gonna go for it. Because even then, I'm only on floor one. Because that's an exit point right there, so I can just get out of here if I want to also. I promised that I would heal after this. No, not shoot walls, heal. But yeah, what I was saying is that later on in the journey, the protagonist... Yeah, I sort of ran into issues where I had such good personas on the protagonist that... This floor's going on for a while, actually. That... He would just run out of SP very quickly, but nobody else really ever got to fight. Are you are all enemies. old enemies. Yeah. And that's why I don't like the Tranquil Idols. Because that happens.
I just decided to run from that battle, actually. How many revival beads do I have? I've got quite a few. And now I'll just remember to switch back to Genbu, because leading with Genbu is always a good idea. Even though Auto Rakakaja will not save me from Mudo if it does hit. Finally. Yeah, I'm just getting out of here. I like the purple mist that is the stairs in this area. So yeah, floor 7 is technically our destination, because floor 8 is just a pure boss floor. Turn around, please. Please turn around. No, you turned... Well, you turned around, but in the wrong direction. There we go. There's still a lot of new enemies that I haven't fought yet. Will you be one of them? You are! There are two of them. Laughing table, and I am glad that I'm fighting you now. Because you are weak to fire, so Junpei is actually a good thing here. Guess for the... Actually, no. Genbu is not... Uh, okay, strong against ice... I'm pretty sure these things use ice attacks, so... Oh, they also repel Slash, though, so I definitely want to get the scan in on them. Let's just switch to King Frost just for the complete immunity to their attacks. And also be thankful that our protagonist is not using Slash attacks this time. Although sometimes I... That's Pierce, right? Yes, it is, thankfully. So yeah, pretty much what I said. But yeah, sometimes, in the answer, I find myself going directly up to enemies thinking that I have a fist weapon, because I always liked using those in the journey, just because I personally like getting preemptives with them. But yeah, that is not how Igus works at all, so... Even though she does have a rocket punch weapon, it's still a ranged attack. Okay, hopefully this means we get to see Junpei's new victory animation. Or Otaro Kaja means. That's a lot of damage. I don't know, I kind of like his victory animation in the journey better. Also, hi Orpheus. Um, no, that wasn't anywhere near what I thought I'd be getting from that. Beast Leggings is female exclusive, I believe, so... I... don't really have much use for that here, because the only female in my current party doesn't use human armor. But I'm pretty sure Beast Leggings are female exclusive. I forgot that you could get armor and accessories from sword cards rather than just weapons. Or is that something that's only in the answer? I feel like maybe that's the case because I thought I always got weapons from the sword cards in the journey. I have no idea what that weapon is. I've acquired a new persona ability. And Fuku leveled up. I can tell if an attack will work on the enemy or not. This ability will only work after you've analyzed an enemy. It would have been a lot more useful if it worked beforehand. Sure you analyze the enemy so, the so, yeah, we know that. So, that's third eye. This also tells you if an enemy has a reflector up, like Tetrakhan or Makarakan, so... Yes. That yes. is actually pretty useful, because sometimes you can forget which reflectors are currently active. Like, you'll see just a big fat repel on the enemy's targeting window if, um... They'll repel the element you're using. Ah, uh, first Junpei level up, quote. So, there are actually only two enemies that we haven't seen in this area, not counting the Purple Shadow and the Gold Shadow. Although I think the Gold Shadows here are still well panned, so they don't count anyway. But we haven't scanned the Tiaras yet. I was about to say that and then I actually got into a fight with Tiaras. So, that was actually pretty fitting. I probably need something that resists dark eventually. But yeah, everything here seems to be weak to it. Guess I can go ahead and switch back to Genbu, just because I'll need to have Genbu back on for the auto skills. Please knock this thing down, Ken. Thank you. This is hopefully aimed at the idol. Yes, it is. That's kind of a nice combo there. Yes. Any dead Tranquil Idol is a good Tranquil Idol. I don't like these things. Double off. shock, wow. Weak so weak to ice, drain fire, uses fire skills. Mataru Kasha can be scary sometimes, but really, it's not really that bad. I don't know if I ever said this during the journey, but one thing about the Tiara-type enemies is that 
I always thought that they looked like scissors. I didn't really, like, now that I look at it, it's like, oh, okay, so it's a tiara and the black stuff flowing down is, is hair, but I always thought they looked more like scissors when I first played this. That was probably, yes, it was Genbu, thanks to the growth one skill. And Swift Strike is actually not bad. Funny thing about Swift Strike is that at one point I actually looked up what that is in Japanese, and its name in Japanese makes a lot more sense given... Hello there. There we go. Just saw me as the shot hit, so... I have never seen one of them do that before. Like, they almost always get the first turn, but I've never seen one use its first turn to escape. So, yeah. That must be pretty... Okay, that, I think, is Auto Rakukaja. But anyway, yeah, what I was saying about Swift Strike is that in Persona 5... Yeah, it is Auto Rakukaja. I'm going to go ahead and give that to Junpei, although it's probably better on... Actually, Yukari has already got the... Um... Hmm. No, I think I'll give that to someone else. Yukari's already got the um, the Thunder Charm. I didn't actually want to talk to you. I wanted to give the better leg armor to Akihiko. But yeah, its animation in Persona 5, Swift Strike, I mean, it looks like it's lightning-based. And yeah, in Japanese, it's kanji... Like, Swift Strike is actually a pretty good translation because it's a four-kanji idiom. And it does have, like, the kanji for lightning in it, but it more just means in the sense of really, really fast. So I see why the translation of Swift Strike makes There's sense. But it, it does leave people wondering, why does animation look like lightning in Persona 5? I'll scan the target. And yeah, this is a new enemy, Elegant Mother. Let me see if what I'm currently using is weak to anything that it has. Uh, it's only weak to Dark, Nulls Wind, and Drains Pierce. That's kind of strange. Um, Narcissus is strong against quite a lot of things that, uh, that these things can do, so let's just go ahead and uh, do that, and I'm going to have to wait because I can't use Pierce attacks on it. But yeah, there are a few animations that, like, make more sense if you know the Japanese names of moves. Not just in this game, but in Pokemon is another big example of that, like... Anyway, just interrupted by the status screen here. So yeah, only weak to Dark, so Koromaru is good here. Uses Ice and Wind, has Wind Boost and Ice Boost, so that's kind of scary. But Nuts doesn't resist them both, so I'm not afraid of that. What I was saying was the Pokemon stuff, so... There are some Pokemon moves that are easier to understand the like, animations of if you know their Japanese names, like Fire Blast. Why does it always make the kanji for big? It's because its Japanese name is Daimonji, which, uh, if I believe, all right, King Frost actually has Mudo, which is a reference to a particular festival that uh, occurs in Kyoto, where they light bonfires in the shape of various... Well, there's one that's in the shape of a boat, but there's one that's in the shape of the kanji for big, and that's what Fire Blast is referencing. Great battle. And like how Follow Me... I fully understand why they called it Follow Me, because that in some ways makes more sense in English, but in Japanese it's called Stay With This Finger, which makes uh, sense with the animation just looking like a finger going around. And another level up. I'm trying to think of other Pokemon animations that make more sense with the Japanese names of the moves. <laughs> My skills have improved. Oh, another level up for Akihiko. I guess because um, he's a little under level for this point, he's getting a lot of experience from these enemies. I'm sure there's at least one good move I can think of that, like, if you know the Japanese name of the move, the animation is like, oh, okay, that makes sense. I guess, you know, Meteor Mash being Comet Punch in Japanese, the animation obviously shows a punch, so... The only reason they couldn't call it Comet Punch was because they'd already called a move Comet Punch in the localization of Gen 1, so yeah. I guess Splash too, although sometimes the animation of Splash does show water, even though it's not a water-type move and it's Jap- Really? That missed? And its Japanese name is Hop, which makes more sense for a lot of reasons. Huh, do I want Chikokuten or do I want more experience? We've already got a decent amount of experience. Let's see if I can follow the card. I think you were there. There we go. I'll just quickly check how good you are um, as for like just a straight up shuffle time persona rather than me fusing you. Let me check. You're all weak to dark again. What is it with this area and all my personas being weak to dark? 
Revolution is a kind of nice move to have. Auto Sukaja is also nice. Speaking of auto skills, re equip Genbu. Yeah, while we're on the subject of Japanese names of various moves in Persona games, I looked up quite a lot of them just because I was kind of interested to see what they were, and in particular some of Persona 4's physical skills have interesting Japanese names like Rainy Death. I was always curious about Rainy Death because I found that its name in English didn't really make much sense with it being a physical attack, but uh, I can keep talking because this is a new enemy, Trance Twins. Which I think is the last new enemy that I needed to see other than the purple shadow, which has not shown up here, and I'm kind of glad, because it's really, really annoying. It has no weaknesses whatsoever and has an enormous amount of HP. Hmm. Mm, sure. Yeah, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I think the trans twins are weak to fire as well, so I guess we'll see that. Of course, I missed the one that I wanted to hit in the first place. And both the things that I wanted to scan are dead. Probably should have thought that through. I kind of expected the Swift Strike to do more damage to this, though. I guess I can just say what I have for my notes is, yes, Trans Twins are weak to fire, but also Dark. They use Elect skills and they null Elect, so... Yeah, that... <sighs> can't just do this because you're... you have Dodge Pierce, but I'll... And I get a critical! Because logic. But yeah, Rainy Death in Japanese is something along the lines of... Like, the way that I would personally translate it is Ascending Drizzle Shot. So it does have rain in it, but it definitely has the word for shot in Japanese. So it's kind of an... I think it implies a rain of arrows. So, I don't know, I'd probably... I mean, I guess Rainy Death kind of... Ha! Huh. Speak of the devil and it shall appear. Oh no, that's terrible! Still don't see why it didn't get shot, seeing as I was, um, it was right, coming right at me. But yeah, this thing, Avenger Knight! I think I remember this being a purple shadow earlier in Tartarus, but yeah, as I was saying before, this thing is extremely annoying, it has no weaknesses, repels Pierce, Drains electricity, nulls light, repels dark, so you can't cheese your way out of it with um, with instant death, and it has a ton of HP, and it also has Mazionga and Elect Boost, so who here is resistant to that? Only Narcissus, and Narcissus is weak to slash. I don't think this thing has any slash attacks, but I could be horribly wrong. Ugh, that's really, really not good. I'm just going to go ahead and switch to someone who has Medea for this. Only one enemy left. Like, really, I think this thing is not worth it to fight at all, because it just takes so long to kill, and there's no easy way to kill it. It doesn't even give that much experience. Oh. Yeah, it can also do that. Okay, at least that wasn't a Pierce attack. Yeah, see how much HP it has? And yeah, Repel Pierce, and it's got a lot of powerful strike attacks. Elect Boost, Mazionga. Uh, apparently, Fuka doesn't feel the need to mention that it can also debuff your defense because that's not listed on here. It's kind of funny how in this game. Um, yeah, and Ken is kind of useless. Uh, in this game. The scan skill doesn't actually list a full assortment of skills that an enemy has, and... Hmm. I'm just gonna run. Because like I said, I just don't think these things are worthwhile to fight. They don't give a lot of experience, and they just take forever to kill. And they're kind of dangerous as well. So you're better off just fighting the regular enemies here than trying to bother with them. There are some purple shadows that are amazing grinding opportunities, but this is just not one of them. But yeah, what I was saying about Rainy Death, like, I guess you can kind of see that. I'd personally translate it as, like, Rain of Arrows or Arrow Rain or something like that. Black Spot is pretty much a completely literal translation, and I don't even know why that's a physical move. Though I will definitely say, there are a lot of skills that the localization did a great, great job on. Like, for example, um... I keep missing with my shots for some reason in this area, but, for example, Primal Force. 
and I guess I can try and see if I can get the scan in on these things this time. Primal Force in Japanese is called Innocent Tech. It's the ultimate Pierce physical skill, and what the heck does Innocent Tech even mean? I know there's sort of a recurring gun skill in the series called Grand Tech, which I think is all- no, I, I know is also in Tokyo Mirage Sessions. But, um, yeah, Dodge Pierce can't activate while you're on the ground, I don't think. And these things are weak to fire and dark. Eerie Sound Distress Boost is kind of weird, though. In terms of other skills that I much prefer the English names of, Debilitate, because in Japanese that's Randomize, which, I mean, I guess it does lower the enemy's chances of hitting and evading, but it's still kind of a weird name for a maximum debuff skill. You, you Zio, okay, do I have some? Okay, I'm not weak to that, so I'm kind of fine doing this. And, um, Salvation, which in Japanese is Messiah Riser. Like, Salvation is just such a good, well, what TV shows would call bullseism of that, because it it gets that implication across, but it sounds a lot more natural in English. Dude, I gotta pull it together. Okay, I could probably afford to stop using Ken now, though, uh, let's see, I would like to grab this. Finally got a preemptive shot. Mainly did that just to get this chest. Um, oh, hey, a grenade launcher. Kind of like that they were selling those in the shop at the moment, although where a police station would get grenade launchers, I, I guess, well, I was about to say maybe they, um, they confiscate them from criminals, but the idea of there being criminals with grenade launchers just running around um, is kind of scary. But that's a weird grenade launcher. <laughs> it inflicts charm. I don't even know how that makes sense, but I'm not going to question it. I f yeah, I did already find the stairs, so let's go down to the next floor. Just trying to think of more things that I can talk about when it comes to just localized names of moves and things like that. I should probably head back now, though. Because I've already seen all of the enemies that there are to see in this area. Actually, a line like that from Fuku is probably a good indication that now might be a good time to go back and save, also. Genbu, again. The Eye of Shining Justice increases our attack and defense, and we don't want to be without that power. Yeah, we're all, we're all 32. I guess I can afford to swap out my team here. The upcoming boss is level 37, which is kind of scary for my teammates at this point, but I feel like it's actually not that bad. Like, in practice, I did this really clumsy attempt at the fight where I ran into it, basically having no idea what the fight could do, and then um, somehow managed to not get wrecked by it. Uh, actually? Okay, that's good. But I probably should have taken Shisa there. Because that's a pretty decent persona. I think I'll just try and find an exit point here and then just get out. <laughs> oh, okay, you've leveled up too. Yeah, just naturally going through this area is giving us a lot of experience. Singular enemy. That's probably a mother. That... Sounds like a weird thing to say out of context, but it does make perfect sense in context. A really big batch of enemies here. And I have a feeling the stairs are not through this corridor. Oh yeah, and as you can see here, that's Fuka's third eye working. So this says, don't use ice on this enemy. But it only works if you've already scanned them, so that makes it kind of annoying. Huh, I just noticed this. The that big strip that's going around the background, that looks like a that looks like a big piano. Like just piano keys. Which now reminds me of the first dungeon in Persona Q, which actually has a lot of random piano keys in the background. That was not what I wanted, but might make for good fusion fodder. 
Well, there was a chest here. Maragi gem. Guess that's okay. That almost looked like a giant purple shadow for a second there, and I really would not have wanted to see something like that. Four Avenger Knights! <laughs> that would be terrifying. Orthrus, I will take that. And level 35. Actually, that's a pretty good level to um, end this part at, actually. I just said actually twice. Oh, then that's perfect! Thank you, game, for reading my thoughts. Let's head back. So with that, our party's leveled up a few times. I've shown off most of the enemies in this area. I've got a few more personas. Next time I'll be heading pretty much straight to the boss. I wonder if I should use this team for it. Yeah, I probably should. Junpei is not a bad party member. Actually, wait, no, Akihiko was bad for this boss, so I'll need to swap him out for someone else. Anyway, I'll, I'll work that out next time, so I'll see you then.